Hey, I'm Matt Hammett, and I sang for a band called Sanctus Real for 20 years. People are always like, oh, you're that guy that sang the song Lead Me, but there's way more to my story than that. So I remember being a kid who was really anxious to the point where I remember in third grade, like actually going to the hospital. I remember sitting on that cold metal table in one of those hospital gowns and then running tests on me and finding out that I actually had stomach issues because my nerves were racked so often. And that's the issue that has followed me throughout my whole life just feeling uncertain of why I felt uncomfortable or anxious in certain situations that maybe other people didn't seem to be anxious in. My dad had this record player and a small collection of vinyl. And I just remember when he would put a vinyl on and he would spin that record. I just remember the way that it just felt like I could just get lost in that music. For me, that was really an escape from those places in reality that made me feel um, so out of place. I remember my first song was a song called Coffee of Life, and it was about escaping reality in my cardboard rocket ship. I had no idea how big a part of my life music would actually be, that it would actually be the centerpiece of everything I did. When I was 16, I met a guy named Chris Roman at my high school. We started a little band together called Sanctus Real in his parents' basement. We had no idea at the time that Sanctus Real would go on to be like a Dove Award-winning, Grammy-nominated group with multiple number one songs. I never even could have imagined that as a teenager. In 2001, I was married at the age of 21, and I also signed a record deal, which meant that my wife and I together hopped in the back of a 15-passenger van with a bunch of dudes immediately after a honeymoon. And that's how we spent the first four years of our marriage. We had no space to be intimate, no space to fight with each other. And so all these feelings would just like well up inside of us because we couldn't communicate while we were on the road. And we would get home and things would just explode. About seven years after we were married, I remember just being in our home and her coming to me just through tears, completely broken, just pleading with me to be a better father and husband. By the grace of God, I heard her voice. I heard the things that she was saying to me and I knew in that moment that something needed to change. And so I did what I always knew to do my whole life. I, I ran to music, picked up my guitar, and through words and music just started expressing not only the words that my wife had spoken to me, but the words of my own heart and the prayer of my heart that I would be able to lead her well and that God would continue to lead me. At the same time that Lead Me peaked at radio, was number one in the whole country, my wife and I were at our son's bedside in a hospital in Ann Arbor, Michigan, while he was going through his first open heart surgery. Again, here's this tension of a growing career, but how do I provide for my family emotionally and spiritually? Lead Me, is really kind of an irony for me in my life because I wrote that song about being a better husband and father and answering the call. But it propelled us to the heights of our career and actually took me away from home even more. Sometimes almost 250 days, we'd be gone, out on the road, away from our families. And I started to realize, how could I ever be a good singer or a good frontman for a band if I never showed up at a show? Well, how could I be a good dad? How could I be a good husband if I never showed up at home? I started realizing that it was time for me to make a decision, to be able to actually step out of Sanctus Real and step into a new season that was a complete mystery to me. And one of the first things that I did was I bought an RV and pack up all our stuff, pack up our four kids, and go out on the road for an entire year together. So for an entire year, we lived in that RV. We went from church to church. I got the opportunity to sing and to speak, but we also stopped in between to see all the things that I'd always wanted to show my family. And in those days, in that year of being in that RV together, uh, it was just such an amazing moment for us to rediscover one another. 
Years ago, my wife and I were on the verge of not making it, and now our marriage is so healthy and life-giving. I thought I was close to my kids before, but now I know them intimately, and I'm so grateful for the gift that God has given me now to have a healthy and thriving marriage and family. And I just want to share that with others. You know, a lot of people have been wondering what I've been doing since I left Sanctus Real. And honestly, I'm just on a mission to use words and music to appeal to people's hearts, to help them see where God is in the midst of real life struggles. God's given me an opportunity to express myself creatively through more than just music. I've been speaking for men in marriage retreats. Uh, I have been making music for other people as well as myself, but I'm also working on a brand new book that's coming out in 2020 through Waterbrook Multinoma. I wanna take this journey with you. I'm still on it. I can't do it alone. You can't do it alone. So join me. The best way for you to do that is just to sign up for my email list. And I look forward to sharing this life and journey with you.